Hello everyone, my name is Usha Lingade and today we will discuss about the parental care in amphibians. While talking about this point, we know that in amphibians there are many devices or the ways for the protection of their young ones during the early stages of development. So number of ways are there through which the, the parents they protect their young ones. So first one is that, that is the protection by means of the nest or the nursery. So in again a part in enclosures in the water. So a large tree frog protects its progeny or the young ones by building a basin shaped nursery in shallow water on the border of the plant. So in this example, the female scoops up mud to a depth of 3 to 4 inches and with the material thus removed a circular wall which is built and emerges above the surface of water. Now the eggs and early larvae these are protected from the attack of many insects and the fishes. Next one that is in holes near the water. Now this condition occur in Japanese tree frog. The male and female bury themselves in the damp earth on the edge of ditch or flooded rice field and make either hole or the chamber few inches above the water level. So this is the way through which this Japanese tree frog, okay, either this may be the male or the female, okay, so they make the hole near the water. The walls of this chamber are polished and female first produces secretion from the cloaca and eggs are deposited into that uh, particularly that hole okay so in this way their young ones they get protection coming to the next in nest on trees or on rocks overhanging or hanging the water now this condition occurs in a tree frog that is racophorus malabaricus so in this case the tree frog deposit their spawn on trees in nest of cloth attached to one or many leaves stuck together and overhanging a pool for few days. The larvae move in froth and after losing external gills, they fall in water to complete metamorphosis. So again, it is the other way through which the parents protect their young ones. Next one. that is in transparent gelatinous bag in the water. So the eggs of this species that is Prinexhalus biroi, the eggs are large which are enclosed in a transparent membrane secreted by female and left in mountain streams. Now the whole development in this case the whole development takes place within the eggs and little frogs go out in perfect condition. Okay. So what is coming out here? Uh, from the eggs not the larvae but actually the little frogs they are coming out uh, from these eggs so in this condition no gills have been observed and the large tail serve as a breathing organ of young ones as we know that in case of the amphibians particularly uh, if you uh, see the frog frog carry out the respiration through their skin also okay so obviously during their larval stage the frogs having the gills but in this condition no gills have been observed and the large tail act as a breathing organ in young ones. Now next one that is on trees or in moss away from the water. So in several species of tropical American genus hyloids, the eggs are deposited in damp places under the stones or moss or plant leaves and are of large size. Okay. So in several species of the tropical American genus, they deposit their eggs into the either damp places or they can lay under the stones or moss or the plant leaves and these eggs are of the large size. Now the metamorphosis is hurried up within the eggs. Hurried up means what? That the whatever the metamorphosis is going on or occurring within the eggs which is nothing but slightly occur very fast. So plenty of yolk in the egg and hence the entire development takes place there. Okay. So it means that huge amount of or bulky amount of the yolk is present within the egg that's why the entire development takes place there again in this condition also no gills have been observed 
or C. Next one, the direct nursing by the parent. So in the previous examples, we learn or we saw that the parents either whatever the females were there, these females were laying their eggs at protected area. But here the parents they are direct nursing or they are direct taking care of their young ones. The first one is that the tadpoles transported from one place to the other. Okay. So a uh, small South American frog that is phylobats and dendrobats have been repeatedly observed carrying well-developed dead poles on their backside. Okay, so in this way, this is the direct protection by the parents. Here, the dead poles are there, uh, means they stick by their sucker-like lips and flattened abdomen and thus they are carried from one place to the other place. Next one is that the eggs protected by male who covers with his body. So, eggs of mantofrine robusta are stunning together by an elastic gelatinous envelope. Now, they are 17 in number and form a clump over which the male sits, holding it with both hands and development takes place there. Here, the larvae, again, the larvae have no gills, well-developed legs, large tail, which is a vascular and respiratory in nature. Next is that, the eggs carried by the parents. So, first one that is round the legs by male. So, when the eggs are deposited, the male first leave the female's waist and shift hold to the base of the head. So, after this, the eggs are passed out in two or three times at short intervals. Okay. Then, the male then binds the string and push them round the eggs. In this way, these eggs can be carried out by the male. Then, another example is that on the back of the female. So, first one is that the exposed. Now, in Brazilian female, tree frog that is Hyla coildi carry eggs on their back. And in next example, that in cell like pouches. So, in Pipa Americana, the eggs are carried out on the back of the mother, but the skin thickens and grows around the egg. Finally, covered by a lid. And eggs develop in these pouches and the young leap out in the perfect condition. Next is that in common pouch. So in Nototrema, the whole of the brood is sheltered in a common pouch. Okay. And this and this dorsal pouch develops only during the breeding season. Next is that on the belly exposed by the female. Okay. So the female of the Ceylonis racophorus carries their eggs or her eggs on the belly side. Then next one is that the in the mouth or gular pouch by the protection which is done by the male. So one of the most remarkable modes of nursing is that of the Chilean Rhinoderma darwini, a small which is a small frog. The young about 10 to 15 in number are sheltered and develop in the gular pouch which is a modified vocal sac. So in this condition, the male will protect their young ones in their vocal sac. Next is that the protection done by the female. So the female of West African tree frog Hylambatus breviceps. This female carries the eggs in her mouth. Next is that viviparous or the viviparity. Two small East African toads, that is Pseudophrine vivipara and Nectophrine torneri, are known to be viviparous, but no observations have been made on them beyond the fact that larvae are found in the uteri. So, it was all about the parental care taken by the amphibians. So, this is my reference. Thank you so much.